What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski and I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video now with the brand new update, update 2.3.0. We now have Perona as the new Fortnite dungeon for the next two weeks, so it's going to be absolutely crazy. Make sure you guys go and farm Perona special because it's a very, very powerful special. And this is the team that I'm going to be running uh, probably throughout the whole two weeks um, with the double kid striker team. This is definitely one of the most powerful teams to take on Perona, as you'll see in this video. So let's go ahead and review the team. So we've got two uh, high-leveled uh, kids. Now, it doesn't matter about the special level because there's no books out for him yet. Um, so make sure that he's just a really high level. Um, also, another unit that's really great in this dungeon is Kaku and Pauly together with the kids. Because you can make Kid get himself a red orb, lock it with Pauly for two turns, and for two turns, double the effectiveness of that red orb. So you can just imagine the amount of power that you can get. Now, Golden Pound is also there because if you guys didn't see the video regarding how to beat Perona, she does silence your friend captain and your captain for three turns. So having that turn delay, making sure you don't take damage throughout that period of time is just great. And Blamenko is just there basically for damage. You can replace him out for Alvida, Arug. Um, you can replace him for Hawkins as well. Uh, Killer if you really want to. But I think the Blamenko is probably the better one just because he does have orb manipulation if you do have a low special one. And also because he actually has a lot of attack power that can take on Perona very, very well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take down. Perona in this new Fortnite dungeon. Perona's Ghost Garden or Wonder Garden or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was, but let's go ahead and do this. Once it loads, there we go. Wonder Garden, adorable. 30 stamina, about a 1 of 10. Um, so we've just got a lot of these generic uh, enemies here that have, you know, like a one turn cooldown. Um, we actually don't even need to stall throughout this dungeon. Uh, we might need to stall a little bit just on the uh, Daimyo Turtles, basically for Poly Special, because, you know, having 15 turns, you do need to make sure that you do hit that 15 turns. Um, so we probably only need to stall for like two turns because you have to waste three turns uh, when you first encounter Perona. So uh, that is fine. We're going to just stall on this Daimyo Turtle right here. And the Daimyo Turtles have 8 HP, so uh, two four combo attacks will take down the Daimyo Turtles. Um, and also, if you guys didn't see the condition of the dungeon, you can only encounter Strength, Quick, Intelligent, and Food Recovery Orbs. So there's only four different types of orbs. So taking a unit of one of those uh, attributes is very, very good in this dungeon, as you'll have a higher chance of getting a positive orb on your unit. So that is really, really great to have. So let's go ahead and take that down, getting a baby turtle drop. Now, Battle 5 of 10, we have Kumasi here, which is um, kind of like Perona's pet, I guess. And uh, he is droppable as well. Uh, he's not the best of units. Uh, the hidden boss in this dungeon is actually pretty decent. Uh, 200 fixed damage to all enemies. But Kumasi does like 35 times his attack. Uh, as, as strength damage, so, you know, he's not one of the best units, but, you know, still kind of good to get a hold of, I guess, uh, and his drop rate is reasonably high, um, so we might be able to drop him here, but we will take a little bit of damage here as well, it's only going to take 4,500 damage, which is quite hefty, but, you know, having four turns now for cooldown, which is kind of good, and you can take this opportunity to stall if you really need to, but as I said, uh, that's not really necessary with this team. And we get a skill book drop, which is nice. Always good to see. Um, skill books that you can drop from here are like Beppo, Gear 2, uh, Cabin Boy Helmeppo, um, and there's someone else. Who was it? You can get Kumasi books, which is the person we just took down. Uh, the Hidden Boss, which is Dog Penguin. So there is like a couple of decent skill books. You know, Beppo is not bad to have. Uh, definitely in the future of One Piece Treasure Cruise, you know, Beppo is going to be very, very useful. And uh, yeah, so what are we up to now? We're up to battle 8 of 10, so we're getting towards the end of the dungeon. And we have a Daimyo Turtle here as well, which we can go ahead and stall on, which is probably what we're going to do. Just making sure that we don't take down the Daimyo Turtle. There we go. And I think we can just go ahead. Actually, let's get this recovery orb, because uh, it's always good to get a little bit of recovery back. Um, so we're at battle 9 of 10 now, so we're only one stage away from battling against Perona. So let's go ahead and take this down. We don't need to stall for any longer on this dungeon. And Kid coming in. Kid is so strong, man. He's so, so strong. And here is Perona. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> and here is a special which will uh, silence your captains for three turns. You will get negative orbs and lower recovery. So 
not a very fun time. Um, so this is going to be a little bit difficult. But what we're going to do here is go ahead and use Golden Pound Usopp. So when Golden Pound Usopp runs out, um, we will have our captains uh, basically ready to go. So make sure to not use any other special until we uh, get the captain silence off of our captains. But in the meantime, we are going to be doing as much damage as we can, even though it isn't a lot of damage. You know, 23,000 is not a lot, but, you know, it's always good to get a little bit of damage off rather than no damage. So that's my whole, you know, outlook of this uh, of this dungeon. So make sure you get as much damage off as you can, even though you pretty much can take her out in one turn with all the specials activated. So um, we get one more turn now. Now we can use our specials. So let's see what, what kind of orbs we get. We get kind of average orbs, but uh, that can change here with Kid. Uh, Kid just having, you know, so much utility in this dungeon. Gives himself a red orb. We don't even need to activate the other Kid special because he's already got a red orb. Let's go ahead and lock these orbs for a turn, and then we'll activate Kaku special, doubling the effectiveness of all of these orbs as well, making Kid an absolute powerhouse in this dungeon. He's so strong. Let's go ahead and take down Perona. Let's go now. Blamenko, kid, kid. Boom! There we go. And we got a skill book drop. So thank you guys for watching this video. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to click the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.